Hello and welcome to Edu Sathi's lecture on cubes and cuboids. Now cubes and cuboids is a difficult topic to understand but if you get a hold of things then it's really easy to find out answers. What I suggest is that if you have a Rubik's square, Rubik's cube with you, just hold it while using this presentation because it is really difficult to understand on how things are happening because we really will be solving questions in 3D here. Let's get going. What is a cube? A cube is a 3D figure which has all three sides equal. So this side is equal to A, this side is also equal to A and this side is also equal to A. Now cuboid is also a 3D figure but all the three sides are of different length. Let's say this is L, then this would be B and this height would be H. So basically the difference is that all the three length, breadth and height are same in a cube whereas in a cuboid they are different. Let's look at the properties of cubes and cuboids. A cube has eight vertices. If you count this is one vertice, this is the another, I have third one here, this is the fourth one Then I have five, six, seven and 8. So it has 8 vertices and similarly for cuboid it also has 8 vertices. I have 12 edges. What are edges? This like the side BC is an edge. The side AB is an edge. So I have 1, 2, 3 and 4 here. Then I have another 4 here 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then I have another 4 here 1, 2, 3 and 4. So I counted 4 3 times. So I have 12 edges. Similarly, in cuboids also, you have 12 edges. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. All the edges are of equal length as we discussed before and here all the edges are not of equal length. We have 6 faces. What is a face? A face is like this. If you look at D, C, F and G. This is one face. This is the outer face like this, this face. This is the outer face. Similarly here, I have a face V, U, X and Y. This outer face here. This is a face. Both a cube and a cuboid has six faces. If you are holding a Rubik square, you can count that they are six faces. Here we have square faces, here we will have rectangular faces because we have length, breadth and height. So L and B will give me one rectangle, B and H will give me another rectangle and L and H will give me the third rectangle. And both all these would be like I will have two LBs, two BH and two LH. Now this if I take this as an L and this as an H. So this V, U, X, Y is a LH face. And similarly, the face directly opposite to this face, this one, the face S, T, W and Z is also an LH face. So I'll have two LB faces, two BH faces, this is two, and two LH faces. So this gives me total number of six faces. Areas of all faces are equal here. Areas of only opposite faces are equal. As I have shown here, 2 LH, 1 this and 1 this. So the areas of only the opposite faces are equal. You need to memorize all these properties because they will be really helpful when we solve questions. Let's move to the concept 1. A cube cuboid, cube or cuboid this means, is to be cut into a certain number of pieces. What is the minimum number of cuts that are required? These are the first type of questions which are asked. We will start with a line to be simple. Let's say I have this line AB and I ask you that I want to divide this line into four parts. Now how many cuts do I require to cut it into four parts? Obviously I will make a cut here. Let's say this is X1 this is the first cut, I will make an x2 and I will make an x3. Now as soon as I make 3 cuts, I got 4 parts. I have this one part, this is the second part, this is the third part and this is the fourth part. So the first thing we learn today is that 
if you need four parts you need four minus one or only three cuts and also the reverse if you make three cuts three cuts you have three plus one or four parts now look at this cube here now in this cube in order to cut this into smaller number of cubes I will have to make three cuts because I have three faces I actually have six faces but let's say I cut this face uh, this face wherein I have a red mark now if I cut this face through a knife this is the cut I make this line it this cut will go through this face and this will also cut the opposite face so basically instead of cutting six faces I only need to cut three faces and the rest of the three would be cut automatically because I am making a cut which is through and through now let's take take this second here this is this is the face with black now if I cut this face this face through and through through this cut this line this will also cut the opposite face which is this face and similarly if we take the third case the third face which is this face in blue if I make a cut here through this line this line this line will go deep and will cut this the bottom face as well so basically we need to cut only three faces and the rest of the three the opposite faces will automatically be cut so now let's look at an example a cuboid needs to be cut into 64 identical pieces find the minimum number of cuts that are required so I need 64 pieces it means I need a cut on three faces as we've discussed so what I'll do is I'll form factors of 64 and I'll have only three factors here let's say I have 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 now this means that one face will give me 4 cubes or 4 identical small cubes this is the 4 coming from the second and this is the 4 coming from the third so in this figure I have 1, 2, 3 and 4 here from the upper face also I have 1 2, 3 and 4 and from this face also I have 1, 2, 3 and 4. So if I want to cut one face into four parts, let's say this front face into four parts, I will need how many cuts? I will need 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 cuts. Similarly for face 2 I will need 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 cuts and similarly for the last phase the third phase also I'll need 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 cuts so what are the total number of cuts which I need I need 3 plus 3 plus 3 or 9 cuts there's some important thing which you should note here the factors that you form should be as close to each other as possible now some of you might think that I can also have 64 as 8 into 8 into 1 this is also we are dividing 64 into 3 parts why 3 parts because we need to cut only 3 faces as I discussed now if you count the number of cuts in this case you will have 8 minus 1 7 cuts on one face you will have 8 minus 1 7 cuts on the other face and you will have 1 minus 1 0 cuts on the third face so what are the total number of cuts you have 7 plus 7 plus 0 or 14 cuts now if you see 14 here is greater than 9 and what I am asked is what are the minimum number of cuts that are required so for minimum number of cuts you need to form these factors which are as close to each other as possible now in case of cubes like 64 was 4 cube it was pretty easy that I'll just do 4 into 4 into 4 but there might be cases like for example if you have uh, to cut it into 24 identical pieces now there is 24 is not a perfect cube so how do we solve 24 we'll discuss in the next question okay we'll take 100 first a cuboid needs to be cut into 100 identical pieces find the minimum number of cuts 
what I'll do is again I'll form factors of hundred or in other words three factors of hundred now hundred can also be written as 20 into 5 into 1 this is also 100 or 100 can also be written as 10 into 10 into 1 and also as 4 into 5 into 5 now as we see these three factors are the closest to each other here between 20 and 5 I have a gap of 15 and 20 and 1 I have a gap of 19 here I agree that we have a gap of 0 but here I have a huge gap the gap is of 9 whereas here the total gap is of 1 between 5 and 5 a gap of 0 between 4 and 5 a gap of 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 so how many cuts do I need in this case 4 minus 1 3 5 minus 1 4 5 minus 1 4 or 11 cuts if I take this case I will need 20 minus 1 19 cuts on my side itself which is greater than 11 I need not even go further so 19 is not the right answer similarly here I will have for the 10 parts I will need to have 10 minus 1 9 cuts for this another 10 I will need to have 10 minus 1 again 9 cuts and here 0 cuts so this gives me 9 plus 9 plus 0 18 cuts which is again greater than 11 you will get the minimum cuts if and only if the factors that you form are as close to each other as possible this was the case for 100 identical pieces let's take a few other cases a cuboid needs to be cut into 24 identical pieces and in second case 120 identical pieces find the minimum number of cuts now 24 as I know is 8 into 3 I start with 2 but we eventually have to end up with 3 factors I can write this as 2 into 4 into 3 these are the closest factors that you can find for 24 other factors might be like 12 into 1 into 2 but then the difference between the factors is huge so what are the minimum of cuts for 2 parts on a face I will require 2 minus 1 1 cut for 4 I will require 4 minus 1 or 3 cuts and for 3 I will require 3 minus 1 or 2 cuts so what are the total number of cuts needed 2 plus 3 plus 1 or 6 cuts similarly for 120 now 120 is what you can start with 2 factors because it's a little easy but eventually you have to find out 3 because we need to cut 3 faces and the opposite 3 faces are cut by themselves so I have 120 as 20 into 6 now what is 20 20 is 4 into 5 and then into 6 these are the closest set of factors that you will find so how many cuts are needed 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 and 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 so when you add I have 3 plus 4 7 plus 5 I have 12 cuts which are required I hope this is clear let's move on to the next type type 2 now type 2 is the reverse of type 1 what are the minimum number of cuts is given what is the minimum of number of cuts is given and you have to find the maximum number of pieces that can be formed now case 1 here is that the minimum number of cuts is a multiple of 3 for example what is the maximum number of pieces that can be formed by 9 cuts this is the total reverse of the type 1 so if the number of cuts given is a multiple of 3 it is very simple you will just divide 9 by 3 this gives you 3 so you will have 3 cuts of 3 each so you will have 3 plus 3 plus 3 now these 3 cuts let's say are on phase 1 this 3 cuts are on the phase 2 and this 3 cuts are on the phase 3 so this 3 cuts on phase 1 will give you 3 plus 1 or equal to 4 parts as it is shown here I have 1 2 and 3 cuts the number of parts are 1, 2, 3 and 4. The basic funda remains the same that if I have 3 cuts I will have 3 plus 1 4 parts. Similarly this on phase 2 gives you 3 plus 1 again 4 cuts and this on phase 3 also gives you 4 cuts. 
so what are the maximum number of cubes that can be formed 4 into 4 into 4 which is nothing but 64 so this was the case when the minimum number of cuts is a multiple of 9 we'll try another question where the minimum number of cuts is not a multiple of 3 sorry not a multiple of 9 a multiple of 3 what you need to note here is in order to obtain the maximum number of pieces the cuts given to the large cube must be divided as equally as possible in all three different dimensions three different dimensions that is why we have a multiple of three here let's try this another question what is the maximum number of pieces that can be formed using 13 cuts now 13 is not a multiple of 3 what you'll do is you'll find the closest multiple of 3 to 13 I know that 3 into 4 is equal to 12 so I have 4 plus 4 plus 4 at least now I need 13 cuts so I'll just add 1 to any of these 3 so what I'll have is 4 plus 5 plus 4 this gives me 13 now let's say this 4 was in this phase phase number 1 this 5 is on this second phase and this 4 is on this third phase so this 4 cuts will give me how many parts this will give me 5 parts 4 plus 1 this 5 will give me how many parts 5 plus 1 6 parts and this 4 will give me again how many parts 4 plus 1 or 5 parts so how many cubes do I have now I have 5 into 6 into 5 or in other words I have 150 small pieces so correct answer is 150 let's try another question what is the maximum number of pieces that can be formed by 17 cuts again what is the funda you will find the nearest multiple of 3 to 17 I have 3 into 5 which is 15 and I have 3 into 6 which is 18 now 15 is 2 less than 17 whereas 18 is just 1 more than 17 so this is the nearest multiple so what I have is 6 plus 6 plus 6 at least on the three different faces now since I need 17 I can reduce any one of these to 5 so what will I get I'll get 6 plus 6 plus 5 now this 6 will give me 7 parts this 6 will again give me 7 parts and this 5 will give me 6 parts so what is my answer my answer is 7 into 7 into 6 which is 49 into 6 or 294 so this is the correct option the only thing you need to remember is find the nearest multiple of 3 to the number of cuts that are given let's move on to type 3 this is a very important concept and you surely will get a question on this painting a cube in your exam now what this question basically means is that I have this cube let's take this cube here and I paint the outer surface of this cube after I paint the outer surface of this cube what I do is I cut this cube into smaller pieces as we've done before we make two cuts on one, three cuts on the other side and let's say four cuts on the third side and we then get smaller cubes now now what you have to imagine is when you cut into smaller cubes this phase let's say this is a cut now this phase which is the newly developed phase will not have any paint on it why because we've already painted we only painted the outer surface of the bigger cube so when you cut a cube you will not have a paint inside the cube it is like when you cut an apple there is no peel inside the apple because the peel is only on the outer surface so what kind of questions you are asked is find the smaller number of cubes which have 6, 5 or 4 faces painted obviously these will be 0 because the highest number of faces that can be painted is for this corner cube which will have 3 faces painted the rest of the 3 faces will one be this face one will be the this face and the other one will be this face now all these faces sorry the bottom face all these faces are arriving because of the freshly cut because the cube is freshly cut so they will have no paint on them so there is no chance of a cube having a number greater than 3 as the number of faces painted 
so for 6 5 and 4 the faces painted are 0 for 3 faces painted only the cubes at the corner this corner this is one corner this is another corner this is another corner this is another corner so 4 here and similarly 4 at the down at the bottom face so 3 are shown in this figure and the fourth one is below this one so 3 faces painted will always be 8 which is nothing but only the corner of the cube the 8 corners of the cube now how many faces will have 2 sides painted now for 2 sides look at this figure here this cube was cuboid was painted green and then it was cut now these black lines they show the cuts now for two faces painted you know that this cube at the corner here has three faces painted similarly this cube at the corner here also has three sides painted if you look at this cube this cube this cube and this cube you see that these three cubes will have only two sides painted one is this side as shown in the figure and the other side would be this side this side i know it's on the other side it cannot be shown in the figure but if you consider here this is one side painted this is the other side this is one side this is the other side this is one side and this is the other side and these two have three sides painted so if this total length was five centimeters as I have 5 blocks 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 I leave 2 of the blocks which are at the corners and I get these 3 cubes I assume that the bigger cube was of the size 5 and it is cut into smaller cubes of size 1 each so I have 3 cubes here similarly I have 3 cubes here similarly I will have these 3 cubes here ok so basically what I mean to tell you is that look at here also this also I have three cubes here at every edge I will have five minus two three cubes which have two sides painted now how many edges are there we did in the second slide I have 12 edges for a cube so how many cubes are there with two faces painted 12 into 3 or 36 now here it's mentioned 12 into n minus 2 12 you know is the number of edges how do we define this n look here n is the size of the bigger cube a to the length of the smaller cube b length of the side so here the length of the bigger cube i assumed was 5 and the length of the smaller cube i assumed to be 1 so here n was 5 so this n minus 2 is nothing but 5 minus 2 or is equal to 3 that is why I had 3 cubes here let's say the length of the bigger cube was 6 and I divided into a smaller cubes of side 2 each so then I will have n as 6 by 2 or 3 then instead of here n minus 2 I will have 3 minus 2 or 1 so be careful when you uh, make calculations using this n let's look at the cubes which has only one face painted there shouldn't be an s here one face painted I'll change the ink color so that you don't get confused now one face painted will be the faces which have these red lines over them or the red colored as already shown in the figure as you see this will have only the top face which is painted this will have only the side face which is painted these cubes also will have only the side face which are which is painted how do you calculate you remove this outer shell because this outer shell these corner cubes have three sides painted these between the corners have two sides painted and this goes for all the sides so if you remove this outer layer you get this inner layer now this inner layer has only one side which is painted similarly for this now this exists in 
on all the six faces of a cube so that is why i have six in on all these six faces i will have cubes which have just one face painted now how do you calculate this n minus 2 this side was 5 i subtract a cube this and i subtract a cube from here because this cube has two sides painted and this cube has two sides painted so this gives me the smaller length as 3 or this 3 is nothing but n minus 2 and n is 5 here so i have this this length found out this is 3 similarly this length is also 5 i leave a cube this from the corner and this one from this corner so this gives me the smaller length as 5 minus 2 which is 3 it is again n minus 2 so this length is also 3 so how many cubes are there in this area 3 multiplied by 3 9 cubes and this these 9 cubes are across all 6 faces so 9 into 6 54 cubes will have only one face painted okay so this gives me n minus 2 square why because i calculated 3 into 3 here and multiplied by 6 because we have 6 faces now how many cubes will have 0 faces painted if you imagine carefully i've painted only this outer cube everything that is inside this cube will have no face painted so from each side let's consider here let's take this is a side 3 so from each side if i remove this outer shell this corner here i remove this from here so i have just one cube similarly if i take this edge and i remove this cube and also this cube i have just left with this one cube here and similarly from this height it's not clear let me draw it here from this height also i remove this cube here and this cube here again i have left with one so if i remove this outer shell only the inner cubes will have no side painted so for this cube which had n is equal to 3 3 minus 2 cube which is just 1 will have no faces painted for this cube here i'll have 5 minus 2 this is for one face this gives me 3 then i have 5 minus 2 this is from the second face this also gives me 3 and then i have 5 minus 2 again and this also gives me 3 so 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 which is 27 gives me the number of cubes which have zero faces painted so basically i remove this outer shell which has been painted and only take the inner crust of this cube now what is the number of smaller cubes that would be formed it will be nothing but the volume of the bigger cube divided by the volume of the smaller cube so in this case how many cubes will be formed what is the volume of the bigger cube i have 5 into 5 into 5 which is 125 divided by the volume of the smaller cube which is 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 so how many cubes will i have i will have 125 cubes take some time to absorb these formulas take a cube in your hand and then imagine how the cuts are being made this is a little difficult to comprehend but we'll now move on to the questions on uh, painting a cube and i hope it will be clear so let's look at the first question here a large cube consists of 125 identical small cubes how many of the small cubes are exposed in air so 125 means 5 into 5 into 5 5 cubes or 5 parts per face this gives me 125 so the first thing we do here is we find n now n would be 5 by 1 i will assume that the larger cube had a side of 5 centimeter and the smaller cube had a side of 1 centimeter this one is a default case we assume so n is equal to 5 here now instead of calculating which cubes are exposed to air it is easier if you calculate the number of cubes which are not exposed to air now which are these cubes these cubes are basically the ones which have no sides painted because 
every cube which had a site exposed to air got painted so in other words they are asking us which are the cubes which have at least one side painted so what we'll do here is we'll first find the cubes not exposed to air these are the cubes which have no side painted so what is the formula i have n minus 2 whole cube what is n here i have 5 minus 2 whole cube this gives me 27 now out of 125 cubes 27 were not exposed to air see how many were exposed to air 125 minus 27 or 98 also you can calculate the other way i can calculate how many cubes have three sides painted i have eight cubes how many cubes have two sides painted i have 12 edges multiplied by n minus 2 so this is 12 into 5 minus 2 which is 3 this gives me 36 how many cubes have one side painted and the answer is 6 because we have 6 faces into n minus 2 whole square so this gives me 6 into 5 minus 2 is 3 so 3 square is 9 6 into 9 is 54 so if you add 54 plus 36 this is 90 plus 8 98 so I get the same answer so what is my correct answer option here the answer option is C let's move on to the next question all the faces of a cube are painted with red color the cube is cut into 64 smaller cubes how many cubes have only one face colored again we will find n first I have 64 which is 4 into 4 into 4 this is equal to 64 so I'll assume that this bigger cube had the side of 4 centimeter and the smaller cube has the side of 1 centimeter so this gives me n is equal to 4 what is the formula for one face colored it is I have 6 faces into n minus 2 whole square this is basically this these four cubes here this side is 4 I leave out this cube and this cube this gives me 2 and this gives me 2 and this will occur on every face like this these four cubes here these four cubes here so I have 6 faces and n minus 2 whole square so 6 into 4 minus 2 square this is 6 into 4 or this gives me 24 out of this 24 12 you can see here also 4 these 4 these and 4 these so my correct option is 24 and the other 12 would be 12 behind this face on this face I have 12 behind this face on this face and at the bottom face also I have 12 here which are opposite to these 4 how many cubes have no face colored so what is the formula I do n minus 2 whole cube so what was n n was 4 so I have 4 minus 2 whole cube this gives me 2 cube or the answer is 8 this is the answer so it is the inner this, these 8 are the inner crust when I remove this outer layer of cubes this outer layer all this when I remove I'll get 8 which are fresh which have no side painted how many cubes are there whose three faces are colored you need not calculate because three faces will always be it only the corner cubes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and the eighth one is somewhere here which is exactly below this one how many cubes are there whose adjacent faces are colored red in other words two faces which are painted so if I look at this edge here I will drop out this cube I'll drop out this cube because they have three faces which are painted and this cube will have two this face this cube will also have two similarly on this edge also I have this cube and this cube I'll cancel out this I have this and this I'll cancel out this and similarly all these cubes which have an arrow marked are the ones which have two faces which are painted so what was the formula I have 12 edges into n minus 2 why this 2 because I delete the corner ones from each of the edges 
what was n here n was 4 so i have 12 into 4 minus 2 which is 12 into 2 the answer is 24 so let's look at this another question here a cube of side 4 centimeter has been painted black red and green on this should be parts of opposite faces it is then cut into smaller cubes of side 1 centimeter each so the first thing we do is we find n n is simple here i have 4 centimeter by 1 centimeter this gives me n is equal to 4 how many small cubes will have only two faces painted in black and green now the first thing you need to understand is let's say we calculate first the total number of cubes which have two faces painted so what is the formula 12 the number of edges into n minus 2 so this is 12 into 4 minus 2 or 24 now out of this 24 we see that we have here three colors red green and black out of these 24 we have three combinations these 24 cubes will either have a black and green or will have a black and red or will have a red and green and since the cube is a symmetric figure all three will occur in equal proportions so basically i'll have eight cubes with black and green eight cubes with black and red and eight cubes with red and green so what is the question here painted in only black and green i will have 24 by 3 which is 8 so this is my right option here so the next question here how many small cubes will have only green painted now again we'll go by the approach we used in the previous questions but i'll first calculate how many cubes are there which have only one side painted so what is the formula i have six faces into n minus 2 whole square what is n here n was 4 so 4 minus 2 whole squares this gives me 6 into 2 or 12 now what you need to notice here is since we have three colors out of these 12 single painted single side painted cubes either the paint would be of red color or the green color or the black color and since again cube has been painted symmetrically i will have equal number of red green and black cubes so i'll have four here four here and four here which is nothing but 12 by 3 so my correct option is the c part here let's move on to cuboids painting a cuboid now if you notice in the case of a cube we had just a n figure here we had n is equal to side of the bigger cube the big cube by the side of the small cube but here since the length breadth and height vary instead of this small n we have a small l we have a small b and we have a small h now a is the length of the smaller cube the cuboid is also cut into cubes not into cuboids so a is common here what is small l it is a length of the cuboid divided by a what is small b the breadth of the cuboid divided by a and what is small h the height of the cuboid divided by the length of the cube so number of smaller cubes having six five and four faces painted is again zero as we discussed earlier for three faces painted there is no change because it is always the corner ones these ones which have three faces painted i have four five six seven and then i have one another cube which is exactly below this cube now for two faces painted now this is where the trick comes in in case of a cube the answer was 12 into n minus 2 so 12 was because we had 12 edges and n minus 2 here the 12 is split up into three parts see i have 4 4 and 4 now in the case of a cube the entire side was n and i had n minus 2 everywhere this smaller side but here i will have l this side is of length l so instead of n minus 2 this smaller side which has two sides painted will be l minus 2 
similarly if this is the height then i subtract these two cubes from the corners as we did in the cube case and i get this as h minus 2 similarly in case of the breadth i have this as b i delete these outer cubes and i get this smaller one as b minus 2 now since i have b minus 2 h minus 2 and l minus 2 that is why we disintegrate in case of a cuboid whereas in case of a cube we just multiplied by 12 so what is the answer 12 into l minus 2 plus 4 into b minus 2 plus 4 into h minus 2 the logic remains same that each edge will give me the number the l minus 2 number of cubes which have two sides painted whereas in the case of a cube we had n minus 2 the logic remains same but since l b and h are different whereas in case of a cube l was equal to b is equal to h is equal to n so that is why we have this formula here similarly for one face painted there we had 6 into n minus 2 whole square here 6 is broken up broken up into 3 2's so I have 2 2 and 2 they add up to 6 this is just a memory tool since I had n minus 2 whole square here so instead of this n minus 2 I have l minus 2 into b minus 2 b minus 2 into h minus 2 and l minus 2 into h minus 2 if you want to have a little clarity so this is let's say l minus 2 and this is b minus 2 so when i multiply l minus 2 by b minus 2 i have this this lot all the cubes which have which are fall in this which fall in this rectangle similarly here i'll have just this one line because h minus 2 would be just this and l minus 2 would be this so i just have this one line of cubes so that is why for one face painted i have 2 into l minus 2 into b minus 2 why this 2 because this l minus b minus 2 is one on this face and one on the face which is exactly opposite to this face which is the bottom face here so that is why this 2 similarly this l minus 2 into h minus 2 is going to be on this face and exactly on this opposite face and similarly the last one b minus 2 into h minus 2 now zero face is painted in case of a cube we had n minus 2 whole cube here n once is replaced by l so i have l minus 2 once by b so i have b minus 2 and once by h so i have h minus 2 so it's a memory tool basically we are just removing the outer crust here also and if you got the logic in cubes you will have no difficulty in comprehending this the total number of smaller cubes the formula remains same the volume of the bigger cube cuboid here instead of the cube divided by the volume of the smaller cube so let's look at a question on cuboid there is a rectangular wooden block of length 8, height 6 and breadth 5 cm since all these are different so it is a cuboid. The two opposite surfaces of 8 into 6 cm are painted from outside by yellow color. So I have 8 cm here so if this is 8 this length is also 8 and if this is 6 this length is also 6. So I have yellow here and yellow on this bottom face. One surface of 8 into 5 cm is painted from outside by red color. So I have 5 here and I have 8 here. So this face, if this is 5, so this is also 5. So this face is red and the other one is brown. The remaining two surfaces of 6 into 5 are painted outside by orange and black respectively. So I have orange here on the front face and black on this exactly opposite face now the block is cut in such a way that cubes of 1 into 1 into 1 are created how many cubes have only one side painted so in the cube question when I had a bigger cube I found n here I will found first the small l the small l is in how much the capital L by a what is the capital L here 8 what is this a here the side of the smaller cube 1 so I have small l as 8 similarly small b is capital b 
by small a which is 6 by 1 again 6 and what is small h here capital H by a so I have 5 by 1 or 5 how many cubes have only one side painted now I when I solve questions on cuboids personally I always draw parallel with cubes what was the formula for cubes for one side painted it was n minus 2 whole square into 6 so what is the corresponding formula for cuboids this 6 will be break, broken down into 3 parts so I will have 2 and since I have a n minus 2 square here so the formula would be l minus 2 into b minus 2 this takes care of the square part plus 2 into b minus 2 into h minus 2 plus 2 into l minus 2 into h minus 2 so I can take 2 common and I will have l minus 2 into b minus 2 l minus 2 means 6 into b minus 2 which is 4 plus I have b minus 2 into h minus 2 so 6 minus 2 is 4 and 5 minus 2 is 3 plus l minus 2 into h minus 2 so 8 minus 2 is 6 and h minus 2 is 3 so I have 2 multiplied by 24 plus 12 which is 36 plus 18 which is 54 so I have 2 into 54 or 108 as the answer so is there 108 no there is no 108 so my answer is none of these let's move on to the next question how many cubes have no side painted no side painted so what was the formula if I had a bigger cube I had n minus 2 whole cube so drawing a parallel for cuboid I will have l minus 2 multiplied by b minus 2 multiplied by h minus 2 as calculated earlier what is l l is 8 so I have 8 minus 2 multiplied by 6 minus 2 and multiplied by 5 minus 2 so this gives me 6 into 4 into 3 or the correct option is 72 is 72 here no we don't have so what is the correct answer none of these again how many cubes have a combination of yellow and red only so if you look here I have yellow here and red here also I have yellow here and red here so basically I have this length as 8 and I have again this length as 8 so how many cubes will have two sides painted as yellow and red I will have L minus 2 as it's here L minus 2 for this edge and also for this edge plus again L minus 2 now this is a kind of question where formula wouldn't work and you will have to imagine things so I have 8 minus 2 which is 6 plus again 8 minus 2 which is 6 and 6 plus 6 gives me 12 so my correct option is the second option here mind you why did I do minus 2 here because I will cross out these two and from here I will cross out these two because they have orange also there they have three sides painted and I want only yellow and red the correct option is 12 how many cubes have the combination of brown with yellow and black so I want a cube which has three sides painted and it should have brown yellow and black so let's look at this cube first this has brown this has orange here yellow here and brown here there is no black so this is cancelled out here also I'll have brown yellow and orange so this also does not work here I'll have yellow red and orange also doesn't work here also I'll have yellow red and orange does not work now this opposite side is black this is yellow and this is this side here will be brown so I have one cube which serves my purpose brown black and yellow 
here again i'll have a red color here also i'll have a red color and there's just one cube which is left to be checked which is exactly below this somewhere here that will have a yellow a brown and a black again so what is my correct answer option here two one is this cube on the top and the other one is at the bottom these kind of questions when you have different colors painted you'll need to have clarity on how the structure of the cuboid is otherwise you'll not be able to get the right answer because there is no formula for this so let's look at the last question on cuboids how many cubes have two sides painted and the remaining sides unpainted so in case we had a bigger cube what was the formula i had 12 into n minus 2 so in case of a cuboid what was the parallel i divide this 12 by 3 so i have 4 and since there is only n minus 2 1 here well first replace n with l plus 4 i replace n with b and plus 4 i will replace n with h it's this is just a memory tool okay for you to remember so you divide, divide 12 by 3 and then you form this parallel so what is my answer 4 into l minus 2 8 minus 2 into is 6 so 4 into 6 plus 4 into 4 plus 4 into 3 so i have 24 plus 16 which is 40 plus 12 which gives me 52 as the answer so the correct option is 52